We're going to start with our first section, so I can click on my first dot up here. And that gives us our little edit button over on the right hand side, so we're going to click on that. And I'm going to select this text and copy it. So I hold down the, do that again, hold down the command key and press C to copy. And the command key is right beside the space bar. Then up in the browser, let's click on our new tab button, which is this little thingy here. And I'm going to paste in, holding Command and V, what we just typed, and press the return key. That's going to give us a bunch of info on the San Andreas Fault, which is probably too much info. So our suggestion for the rest of our research is to stick with Wikipedia just to keep things simple. Then we're not jumping all over the web. We can close this fundraising message. We won't worry about that right at the moment. And we're likely going to find the best basic info about our volcano or fault line uh, in the first paragraph, quite likely. So if we take a look, uh, and we're not going to worry about plagiarism, this time. We just want to take one or two sentences. So if we just sort of read quickly, San Andreas Fault, Continental Transfer Fault extends, blah blah blah, through California states, forms a tectonic boundary between Pacific Plate and North American Plate, and its motion is right lateral strike slip horizontal. Um, probably that is enough. Could take the whole first paragraph. Why don't we take the whole first paragraph? What the heck? So I'm selecting that, and I can do my Command C again to copy that. Command C. I'm going to go back to our Tour app, and down here for text and picture, we'll get rid of that, and I'm going to paste in Command V the text that we just got. And this is great because we have links that go to different articles in Wikipedia that explain these other things that people might be interested in, and those will still work. The other thing we're going to do, just because this text is a little bit big, a little bit big, select it all, and we're going to change the size up here to, let's say, that's too small, let's say 12. That will reduce how much people have to scroll a little bit, and it'll all be consistent. I'm going to now press the return key so that my cursor is flashing on a new line and we're going to add a photo now. So go back to our Wikipedia tab and if we scroll through let's try and find a Wikipedia image of San Andreas Fault. That looks cool and we can actually just click on one and get a better view. That is really neat and then we can kind of scroll through the collection that they have here. That's another cool one can see how weathered some of them are. That other one was much rougher, so this may have been from a much older bit of activity and the other one newer. Uh, all the different parts, I guess, of the fault. Uh, satellite photo that shows how it fills with water in some places. I kind of I kind of liked this one. When you find the photo that you like, right click on it and we want to click on copy image URL in the menu here. Then we can come back to our tour tab, click back in the text box below and we need to use the special insert an image button here. And We're going to click on this last URL choice here and we're going to paste so it's already got the cursor flashing at the beginning so I can command V and paste in the path to that image. We can probably skip the image caption because we're already talking about the San Andreas Fault, but let's include this maximize button so people can see the full image if they want, and then we'll click apply. And here we have got our image added in with our text. And perhaps even want to put one more line in there just so there's a 
space between our text and our photo. And we will click Save. There we go, looking nice already. Because we've done a bunch of work, let's go ahead and click the Save button up in the top right. And then we can go to our next section. So click on the second dot here. Click on the Edit button. We want to select our text here and copy it, so Command C. Then we'll come back over to Wikipedia. If you've got the image open, we'll just close that. Scroll back up to the top and we'll do a search right in Wikipedia. We don't have to do it in the address bar, but I'm going to Command V in there and press my return key. Again, we can close the fundraiser. And we have 1960 Valdivia earthquake, the great Chilean earthquake. So I think this is the right one. And we get a picture here is how big an area it affected. And we'll need to keep that in mind, I guess, when, we, uh, when we're finding this on the map. So maybe we will search for this location as the epicenter for our map location. So let's keep that in mind. So let's take a look at our first paragraph here. Chilean earthquake, blah, blah, blah. The date, most powerful ever recorded. Holy cow, 9.5. It occurred, lasted 10 minutes, tsunami affected all kinds of places, um, waves up to 25, 25 meters. <laughs> oh, those poor people. This is all kind of juicy stuff, so as far as disasters go, why don't we take the first two paragraphs of this one. So between you and your partner, decide how much you think is useful. We don't want to take too much, but let's start with that. So. Um, you can either right click and copy or you can command C, come back over here, paste it in, I'm going to select it all, make it 12. I think some of it, it gets different sizes from Wikipedia, that's why it's a good idea to select it all and change it. If you like, we can recreate the two paragraphs, they kind of uh, joined it all together here when we pasted. And then I'm going to hit return and return again to get ready for the photo. So we'll go back, look for our photo. But I like this one here showing the tsunami that resulted from the earthquake that way over here, it affected all of these other parts of the world. And I believe, no, oh, can't really scroll down. Oh, here we go, contours at one hour intervals. So after five hours, the tsunami got that far took 15 hours to hit Hawaii. So again, right click, copy image URL, we'll come back, make sure our cursor's down there, click on the add image, click on URL, command V, we've already have our maximize checked, that's good, we'll click apply, we can click save. And I think we've probably got the right kind of area for that quake anyway. But we'll show you another trick a little later on about how we can maybe show a bit of detail in there. Of course, click Save. And now repeat these steps for your remaining four items. Now you may find when you do a search, like this next one I'm going to do, where it Wikipedia tells you there is no specific page for this particular thing, but you're likely going to find it in the list of results that it gives you lower down. So if we take a look, we, here we have 1896 Sanriku earthquake, which is pretty much the same thing as what we were looking for. We can also see that we have both the names right there. And this is probably the tsunami, whereas that was the earthquake, but of course they're related. So let's click on that link. And likely this is what we're looking for. If it doesn't seem like the right thing, you can always, you know, go back and try a different one. But I'm pretty confident that this is the right one for us.